A spreadsheet consists of columns and rows. Each cell is identified by a column letter and a row number. It starts with A1, goes down to A2, A3, A4, and so on, and from A1 across to B1, C1, D1, and so on. When you click on a cell, it becomes the active cell, and if you look up to the formula bar, you'll see its contents listed. Text numbers or formulas can be entered in cells. Let's do an example to see how formulas allow the same calculation to be applied to many numbers. Open an Excel spreadsheet and enter the following text numbers and formulas. Double click on a cell to activate it. You can make corrections by double clicking on a cell and using the arrow keys to navigate. If you only click once, new text replaces the old text. You'll have to retype it. You'll also have to widen the cells to accommodate the text. Do so by clicking in between the A and B at the top. Then type in the weights. Now we need to type in the formula in cell B6. We want to subtract the weight of the flask in cell B5 from the combined weight of the flask and the water in cell B4. Always start with an equal signs to begin your formula. Then click cell B4, hit the minus key, and click cell B5. We also need a formula in cell C6. It's the same formula as we just wrote, so you can retype it, or you can click on cell B6. Place your mouse in the bottom right hand corner of the cell you'll see a plus sign. Click and drag over to cell C6. Note that when dragged and copied, Excel will change the formula intelligently as we have changed the column. Whereas in cell B6, the formula read equal to B4 minus B5. When copied in cell C6, it reads equal to C4 minus C5.